Welcome to Lake to Lake. I'm going to give you an industry update as of November 2nd. I'm going to talk about shipments. I'm going to talk about sales. I'm going to talk about local dealers. I'm going to talk about recalls. I'm going to talk about the uh, interest rates. And uh, we're going to take a review of everything that's going on in the industry. And uh, we're going to let you know if it's good or bad. By the way, it's not very good. For the RV industry, shipments of all towables are up 7.7%. Leading the way is travel trailers. They shipped over 17,000 units in the month of September. Fifth wheels are down. They shipped 39, over 3,900. They're down 7%. Pop-ups are down 14%. Truck campers are down 12%. Those are such minuscule numbers, that's not even a rounding error in, in, in all the math. Motorhomes are down 38%, or I'm sorry, Class A motorhomes are down 38%. They're taking a real big beating, especially with what California's done to them. Class Bs are down 29%, and Class Cs are down 27%. Overall, for a year to date, um, shipments were, for 2023, were over 238,000. For 2024, they're 256,000, again, for an increase of 7.7%. We know the reason why travel trailer shipments are up, because they're the most economical, most, most affordable. When I went to the local dealers, let me tell you something. They're, they're packed. There's hardly any room to walk around, the same way it was last month. And uh, when they have lots of inventories, lots of pull campers. The fifth wheels are few and far between when you get out there. Um, and and then of course any any motorized there there's not very many on the on the on the sales floor right now. Um, it it is an interesting note that Forest River did shut down a manufacturing plant in California, and they're going to turn it into a service center. So Forest River is seeing something going on. They're, they're, if they're shutting down a plant, then we know that the industry is is a little lackluster. Um, we also have uh, reports from Winnebago. They had a they had a bad quarter. Uh, Lazy Days reported a multi million dollar loss, and Camping World uh, showed a smaller than anticipated profit for the quarter. Uh, the bottom line is all these all the dealers out there have too much old inventory, and it's costing them a lot in interest rates, and that makes the price of each individual unit go up because of the of the holding costs. We're talking about the sales. Travel trailer sales are down 12%. Fifth wheels are down over 14%. Class A's down uh, 20%. Class B's 11%. And Class C's down over 24%. Overall, they're down 10%. RV sales are down. In 2023, we sold 289,000. And in 2024, we sold 260,000. That's down a little over 10%. So sales are down, shipments are up from the manufacturers. That tells a bad story. While shopping this weekend, I went out to several of the dealers, help do, do my own cursory health check of the industry. Um, I went to two dealers. They had no, they had, they'd had nobody shopping. I mean, I, in one dealer, I was the only car in the parking lot. There was some, oh, there were a couple cars on the service side but on a Saturday afternoon, you would think that there'd be people out shopping. There weren't. Now, I don't know if it's football games or, or what, but something was going on. Talking to the sales people, um, they're fine. They're, they were saying the sales are difficult to close. They get some shoppers in there. They start doing the paperwork, but, but they can't come up with a reasonable interest rate, a reasonable monthly payment. And the people are just walking away. They're, they're, they're not haggling. They're, they said, oh, well, we'll wait till spring. They also were saying that a lot of people aren't qualifying for the lower price loans, and then that ups the price. Uh, sometimes even on the smaller units, a hundred to hundred fifty dollars a month, and the consumers aren't willing to pay for that. That's just the bottom line. They're they're too expensive right now, and with the economy, who knows what the economy is going to do? I mean, we know it hasn't been good, and we don't know what the future is going to hold. So people are holding off. Um, they're also asking for larger down payments, and that that puts a problem for. Some of the consumers, I mean, you get some of the the uh, people who are living paycheck to paycheck, you've got to come up with six, five, six thousand dollars. That's tough or ten thousand, you know. So the down payments are a problem. 
and the financing prices are a problem. So therefore, that's why I think we're seeing the sales are down. From a sales discount, the largest discount I saw, RV that I saw discounted, was discounted 54% off a list price and hadn't sold. And I believe that was the same unit that was there last month. I didn't I didn't do real good record keeping, but still 54% off a manufacturer suggested retail price is a lot. The used market. The average price of used at the auctions is down 3%. Now you'd think that would be give, give the opportunity for some buying to, to happen, but they start out so high and they're coming down very slowly because people have loans on them and they're not willing to they can't come up with the amount of money to pay off the loan to get rid of the RV. But but overall, they're down 3.4%. Okay, on the local market, um, we saw that the 2025s on the sales floor were at 441 compared to last month for sale were four or 270. That's an increase of 171 units of 2025s that the dealers are offering. As far as 2024s go, we had 368 last month we got 304 this month so they sold 56. as far as 2023 goes they're at nine and that's up two so some dealer must have bought some from another dealer but anyway the bottom line is there's a lot of old inventory out there and again i'm not sure i'd want to be buying a unit a 2023 that's two years old sitting on a on a lot for a couple of years not my cup of tea but overall the bottom line is we're seeing a lot more RVs on the lots than we did last month. And that's that's not that's not good. I mean, I, I realize that it's going entering the slow time of year, but if they're not selling them and the, then people aren't coming in to at least look at them, that, that doesn't not a good sign for the industry. Um, the service side was busy on all every RV dealer I went to. They're backed up. They have they have units sitting there waiting to be worked on. So uh, and I saw uh, two two of the companies were adding on additional service bays. So they could work on additional units, which is a good sign. Um, as far as job goes, there were thirty nine job openings last month. This month there's twenty four. Um, and talking to some of the people at the dealers, they just canceling the job recs. They're not fulfilling them. And the oldest one was open for over a year. And uh, I, I could kind of see that as I, as I looked in and, and ch checked for the, the jobs that are available. There's less. But um, when I go into the dealers, I, I see less people there. I see less workers there. So I don't, I don't know. You know, that's um, and, and this is another sign. The industry's struggling a little bit. They're not they're not getting the sales. And so they're not getting the sales. They're not doing the hiring. They're not doing the hiring. They're not getting the people. You know, it's it just it, it, something has to happen for this industry to turn around. And one of the dealers, I asked him, they said, no, they have a job freeze going on. I said, well, you have job rec opens. He goes, oh, they'll never fill them. There's a job freeze. He said, that's just that's just to make the other dealers think we're, we're, we're growing. The National Transportation Safety Board has 17 recalls listed for RVs. Uh, Forest River leads the pack again. They must, must, must sell the most, so they got the opportunity to make the most mistakes. Anyway, there'll be a list down below in the uh, description if you want to take a look and see if your uh, RV has been recalled. The lowest interest rate we were able to find on the market for RVs was 6.74%. That is a drop. Uh, if we can get a, f a few more, a couple more points dropped in interest rates for RVs, we might see a rebound coming, coming around. It's really concerning to me that sales overall of RVs are down still at month to month. I understand why we're in, a, in the cold weather, so we've got a little cold weather slump of sales. But overall, I don't understand why the sales are down as much as they are. It, um, the industry really needs to take a hard look and, and look at pricing of RVs. Maybe they need to make them uh, more reasonably priced. Maybe they need to cut some features in some of the units to get the price down to get people more interested. And I really do not understand why they continue to build more RVs than the dealers are able to sell. I understand that you've got to keep the factories up and going, but you know, maybe they need to build some parking lots and put them, put them in their, keep them at the warehouse. Don't ship them out to the dealers. The, the dealer lots are full and the dealers are going to start losing money. I, and we can see that from lazy days having problems. Uh, um, Camping World reporting sales down, profits down.
the fall and winter, and we were we had we had people we had salespeople excited to talk to us and and try and sell us something. I, I didn't see that going on in October. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you would, please subscribe if you want to see more more videos like this. There, I see no excitement at the dealers. The dealers are just kind of, oh, here's somebody here. You know, we got another person that's not going to buy. Okay, we'll go talk to them. That's what the boss says I got to do. So anyway, I think that attitude needs to change. And I don't know if that's just an attitude that is, is in, it, it happens in fall and winter. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We, bought, we did a lot of looking in this. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw. And please subscribe if you like to see more videos like this. And uh, until we see you around the campfire, you all take care now. Bye-bye.